Alright, y'all. So the comment chronicles continue. <clears throat> Keep it real. This one's for you, big baby. Alright, so typically, um, I don't respond to people who come in the comment section acting like a child, calling names and stuff because they don't disagree with the, they don't agree with the video or they disagree with my point of view. But today, because I'm in a certain type of mood, I'm going to go ahead and address this. So the statement made was on my video where I talked about how um, Demetrius Andre's biggest detractors or biggest critics didn't want Errol Spence anywhere near the whole and, and this is what his comment was his comment was that i sound stupid and you know basically that demetrius andre looked bad and i don't want to admit it um so so i'm gonna address that right here all right first of all i've made more than one video talking about that fight i have not at any time said Demetrius Andre went out there and looked stellar. At no point did I go out did I say Demetrius Andre went out there and and put on his, his typical, you know, performance to where he just was totally dominant. And but what I did do was it say that, you know, he won the fight going away. Um did he get hurt in the fight a couple times? I felt like he did. Did he have a, have his man almost out of there in round two? I felt like he did. Um, did he go out there and look like he got tired late in the fight, which typically in the case for him? Yeah. But do I also know that the man was coming off of a um, long layoff? Do I also know that the man isn't getting the fights that he wants? Do I, do I also know that going into this fight, he basically was talking down on his opponent and probably underestimated him? And, and did I also... And the answer to that is yes. And then I also, in my pre-fight video, which was like a month before the fight, because I wasn't going to do a breakdown again any further closer to the fight because I had already broken down both fighters to the point that I kind of knew what to expect going in. And what I did say was that Demetrius Andre was talking down on this guy, saying that he was levels above him, this, that, and the other, that he was going to just run the guy over. And I said he was putting himself in a situation where... If he didn't go out there and deliver that, it was going to look bad on him. So, you know, you're not telling me anything that I don't know in terms of how the performance went. But I'm not going to sit here and overly criticize the guy because I'm not some fanboy of, of some other fighter. And I'm just going to constantly just crap all over anything the guy does, which is what a lot of people do. When it's some guy that is an opposing fighter to one of their favorite fighters. They always talk down on the guys and anything they can find to be dismissive of them, they run out there with it. But see, what I've come to realize is a lot of pe these people do this stuff because they don't want to see these fights. See, I want to see Andre versus Charlo. So if Andre's performance made Charlo feel like he wants to go out there and take that fight, then I'm glad it went the way it did. But at the end of the day, I'm still hearing Charlo, you know, saying double talk. One minute is he'll take the fight, and another minute he's still talking about what went on between Jamel and Andre. Like, that's water under the bridge. It's time to move on from that. Let's get these fights. You guys are both holding championships in the same weight class. Let's get this fight. Let the cream rise to the top. Whoever wins is the better fighter, and move on from it. Move on to bigger and better things. Do I care who wins that fight? Absolutely not. I have no vested interest in the outcome of that fight whatsoever other than I want to see the fight happen. I want to know in the ring unequivocally who's the better fighter i don't want to hear about no this person ducking and that person ducking and all those claims i just want to see the fight as for errol smith jr you said he don't have anything to do with it the reason i brought errol smith jr up is because when errol smith jr went to run defense for the charlos and, and was talking down on uh demetrius andre andre personally said if you, you know, basically something to the extent of since you in my business, you could come up to 160 and get it too. As soon as he said that, the Errol Smith Jr. fan club ran out and started talking about how Andre was trying to pick on Errol Smith Jr. He needs to fight people in his weight class, this, that, and the other. So that is what I'm referencing. I don't bring up anything just to be bringing it up. You know what I'm saying? So if you didn't know about that, then I'm, hey, now you know. But don't come on here talking about I'm stupid because because you're uninformed. The reason I brought that up 
was valid. It, it applied to the situation. It applied to the circumstances. Those are the same people who are coming out basically crapping all over this guy. But at the same time, I'm not hearing them talk about they want to see the fight. You know what I'm saying? I'm not hearing them talk about they ready for Charlo to go ahead and make that fight. All I hear them talking about is what Charlo would do to him. And if he looks like this against Charlo, this what'll happen. But I'm not hearing them say Charlo needs to push for that fight. Charlo needs to try to make that fight. All I hear them talking about is barriers and roadblocks in the way of making the fight. But steady holding on to what they think Charlo will do. We got too much of that going on in boxing. We got guys as fans. All they want to do is be attached to these fighters and, and claim the other guys ducking and talk about what their fighter could do to them, would do to them. But at the same time, they're not pushing for these fights. And I'm not saying just because they push for them, it's going to happen. But at the same time, you look crazy toting a pom-pom for these fighters and, and constantly talking about somebody's ducking them and this, that, and the other. But then at the same time, you're not advocating for them to do what they got to do to make these fights. That's all I got to say on the subject. Come out, peace.